So what I'm gonna do is... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's an extra three ninety nine. I'll pretend he has a disability. Self heating. Does that matter? What do you guys like? Okay, what do you think? Articulated fingers. Let me see. Oh yeah. So if he goes like that, like yeah, that would be like oh, a warm hug. Mm. And I could put cologne on him and make out with him all I want. And be like, I love you so much. Falling in? Oh fuck, that's not too far from my house! I guess, though, if I have any responsibility, maybe yeah, I guess I, I'm so, I don't know, did I give wrong impression? I could show receipts, I'm gonna compile receipts. I never answered any of his phone calls. So I never said for him to come. I never gave him the go ahead, there was no confirmation, there was no green light. You push boundaries, pal. And you keep pushing them. Well, you can give your side. You can no. He can do a video defending himself. It, it's where if it's like it's not a, not aggressive or anything, you can just explain. But fuck up, fuck you, and fuck you, fuck you, P two. He doesn't know my phone number. He called me on Instagram. Yes. Being in a hotel in Ottawa is not illegal. You're right. But if he's making threatening videos in a hotel near me, that is might a little cause for concern. I would call the police with that. But if he's not threatening me, then I just yeah, he, I would prefer him be in a hotel so that he can I don't know. Fuck, like why is he in a hotel nearby than me? Why is he in a hotel in Orleans? If why are you in a hotel near me in our fu fucking Orleans? If you weren't fucking coming to see me. If you were just coming to sightsee. You were driving by my house. I have the messages. I can- I fucking want to read them. Like, next time I go live from my computer, I'll read them. Fuck you. Yeah, you don't know what he's capable of. I mean, you don't know he's not- you don't know for sure. People say, say that about people all the time. He's not capable of that. I don't know. He's got some strange behaviors a little bit. I mean, that are not normal. He Fuck up. He obsessively fucking called me back to back in the middle of the night a million times I had to block him. And fuck you, fuck you, P2. He titled the live 9-11 Ottawa? What? I'm scared. Not normal. That he drove eight hours to come wave at you in the parking lot. That's messed up. That's weird. He doesn't respect any boundaries. I like did his job for him. He was the essence of the channel or whatever. But I was the fucking backbone, and you know what? I could pr you go back. You know what? Look at the last thumbnail that I did for you, and look at your channel since then, huh? What? You have no thumbnails. They all look like shit, actually. So, God, I want to be a health beauty guru, supermodel, and I want to be obtuse in that world. What's your problem anyway? What did I do? What? What? What did I do? What? What? <laughs> hmm. Good for him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Is that supposed to hurt my feelings that she's skinny? You're the one who always would be like, on video, on video this is him, I'll do an impression with his glasses. And look to see if Dee Dee's watching and then he'd go... With his, with his mouth he'd go... And then he'd flash his dick, which is like... <laughs> he would! And I'd go, okay, bye! I would do that. And then he'd go, come over here, you bitch. He's fucking mean like that. He just called me names? Why is he calling me fucking names? What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Why is he calling me names? What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? I'm just sitting here in the middle of Orleans. 
I hate, I fucking hate my voice. Like, honestly, you guys don't, do you guys just not believe me? Or do you want, like, do you want to make jokes about it? Or do you want me to move on from him? Like, I don't know what to do with him. I don't know where to, where to put him in my brain. Well, I mean, I'm going to put him away because all he does is like, he, see, he's like still verbally abusing me and I'm not even with him. And he's like, I don't know. Like, he's in my head still. And yes, I verbally abuse him too, I know. I have an itchy tongue. How does that happen? Ah! Do I have to call the cops? You guys are literally literally freaking me the fuck out. Oh, fuck. I legit like have a stalker, a fucking creepy stalker. Who made a creepy video? He's cre freaking me out in a hotel room right now in Ottawa. Like he drove, he drove like eight hours all the way here. Like it's my fault. I never answered his calls. I have all the receipts. And fuck you, fuck you, piece too. I'm gonna have to put do a video like a fucking my stalker video now or what? I'm probably just being dramatic, aren't I? Okay, you edit. We are celebrities on the. He's in a motel. I mean, if you were me, wouldn't you guys be freaking the fuck out? Wouldn't you be freaking the fuck out, please? It's definitely cause for concern. It's cause for concern? Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering, like, I should call the cops. Well, I have proof. Video proof. So you are nuts. And if you come here, I will defend myself. We will defend ourselves, right? Yep. You have a sword? Yep. You don't know what you do not, not sharp. We will defend our turf. You do not want to mess up with the villa. Right? Yep. Fucking loser. Fuck you. And fuck you, fuck you, P2. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna put out this one video and then be done with the S Jam drama stuff. I don't know. Um, so I don't get pleasure in this, um, but I'm going to have to show my Instagram direct messages with this person, S Jam, because I just want to show that I don't really know. Maybe you guys can point out, um, maybe if I led him on. I don't really think that I did, but um we will see in my opinion um with the messages i feel like he should have waited for confirmation from me um you will see several instances where he obsessively calls me over and over and over um so yeah if anything this experience has taught me that i need to be more responsible for my own safety and maybe just be more conscious and aware of the relationship that could develop between um people just it's just a weird dynamic sometimes with creators and their viewers and um regardless fucking loser fuck you and fuck you fuck you p2 so this is for some reason as far as i can go back i'm sure he'll have the same dm so he's free to do whatever he wants if he wants to release something as well um this is just what i have uh this is as far as i can go back for some reason this was from before when he sent me all of those super chats back when i was first starting to see natter i think last summer um i never asked him for super chats um or anything like that um so this is just going through our messages as you can see there Fuck you, and fuck you, fuck you, P2.
as you can see, I might throw in a random hi because I do like that you guys message me. It's just, I can't always answer all the time because I get so many, but I do love hearing from you guys. Even here, I'm clearly saying, oh, sorry, I can't chat right now, you know, and then you can see here, um, he starts a series of calls. Fuck you, and fuck you, fuck you, peace too. And that I don't answer, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of confused about the you're talking to Nads comment. I didn't really understand. Uh, maybe just, I thought maybe he was like a, somebody who was just trying to get information, I think, maybe. Fuck you, and fuck you, fuck you, peace you. I don't know. Here's where the messages start more recently. All of those above missed calls are recent too, but this is the most recent conversations with S Jam and I didn't ask him to come down. Um, you'll see, in my opinion, he should have confirmed that he was coming and made plan proper plans. So this is just the ending of the conversation. I did send him a screen capture of my community pose and I just ended the um, conversation with him by blocking the account because he was calling me out of control and I just thought it was probably the best thing to do. Um, I did block him as a beezer. Um, no hard feelings. I'm totally over it. Please do not harass this person. I would like to just forget and move on. I wish you all the best in life and I hope you have a wonderful life, all of you, and <laughs> I'll see you later. Fuck you and fuck you, fuck you, peace you. So here is like where the only conversation is w about him coming down and I was just kind of making small talk like oh that's cool like maybe a lot of beezers talk about maybe having a meetup someday you know and I just yeah maybe it would be cool someday for sure. <laughs> fuck you and fuck you fuck you peace too. Someday when I'm like ready I don't know I just don't like people showing up at my house I just feel invaded. Fucking loser. Fuck you. And fuck you, fuck you, peace too.